Uh, welcome to Trishal Online School and this is Ansarul Faraji, Assistant English Teacher of Danikula High School and today I am going to take a class on uh, narration and my dear learners, I think all of you are staying at home and you are keeping well and you are in close contact with the study though the institutions are off, totally closed and we are actually totally uncertain when the schools will uh, go on as it was going on first. So today we are going to start our class on narration. First, I am writing the topic. Narration, actually it has come from narrate. Narrate is a verb but here narration is a noun. Narrate means uh, to describe something in details. To describe something in details. Or to make something elaborate. So, you know, narration is of two kinds. One is direct narration, another one is indirect narration. And my dear learners, in the exam, uh, narration is Actually, narration counts for class 8, 9 and 10, but not for 6 and 7. So you have to put more emphasis on this because 5 marks are, 5 marks is distributed on this part. And if you give more emphasis on this, I think all of you will be somewhat expert in uh, language. You know, to be expert in language, you have to learn many things, many grammatical things, many linguistic things as well. So it is one part of language. So you know narration is of two kinds. But at the very beginning of the class I am writing a sentence and from this sentence different rules will come one by one. He said to me, He said to me, I was sick yesterday. So from this sentence we get two parts. He said to me, this is one part of the sentence and I was sick yesterday, this is another part of the sentence. So this one, he said to me, is called a reporting verb and I was sick yesterday. Uh, that actually covered with inverted comma, this is called reported speech. And this part actually was stated by the speaker of this reporting verb. So this one is called reporting verb. Reporting verb and the next one, this part is Reported speech. So this one, he said to me, I was sick yesterday. This is a direct narration. And if you want to make it indirect, you have to know some rules one by one that you have to follow uh, before that speech. So first rule is that to identify reporting verb and reported speech. And if you do not, uh, actually if you cannot identify these two parts, you cannot change actually from direct to indirect. The next rule is
to identify the tense of this part and that part because tense is also uh, tense also plays a major role in changing from direct to indirect so that means the second role is tense to identify tense and the third task is to use an use a conjunction after erasing comma and inverted comma so third role is conjunction based on the sentence of reported speech but later i shall discuss all the roles in detail so fourth role is person change that means in reported speech there are there uh, will be different persons first person second person so third or third persons so persons will be changed based on the uh, persons of reporting verb so person change and then the re the next task is to change the tense of this uh, reported speech tense change or tense changing tense the last task is to change some words just like here notice uh, yesterday so yesterday will uh, take the place of the previous day just like the different uh, words will come here and these words there are only a few words that you have to memorize that these words become that words or like this so yesterday becomes the previous day today becomes that day uh, tomorrow the next day in this we have to change the words so i am just erasing these things uh, if you are interested you can uh, put this down on your khata this is the actually sequence we have to go forward to change from direct to indirect so now i am changing it he said to me i was sick yesterday he said to me i was sick yesterday this is reporting verb and this is reported as speech so first task is to identify the tense to reporting this one reporting verb and the, the, that one is reported as speech so and we have to identify the tense he said to me is it say or says or said or will say this is said that means past tense so if it is past tense the tense of reported speech will be affected that means it will be changed but if it is of present tense or future tense the tense of the reported speech will never change so he said to me this is past tense that means the tense of this sentence must change he said to me this one i was sick yes this is a uh, assertive sentence so in assertive sentence we are to use that as conjunction so he said to me that then person change i this is first person so first person will go uh, with he and it will become he i was sick yesterday this is past indefinite tense and you should learn it that past indefinite tense becomes uh, past perfect so after subject after the subject he uh, we have to use a head this is the head of the tense structure hmm? this is the verb main verb was so the past participle of this verb is been 
he had been sick this adjective there is no change and yesterday it, it, it must be changed and it will be changed with uh, the previous day so he said to me that he had been sick the previous day so here you also can change it said to if there is an object after the verb then you can change said with told so in this way you, you also can write both are correct if you write he told me that is correct and if you also write he said to me that is also correct yeah, there is no problem so in this way you have to change from direct to indirect We have actually learned the preliminary rules or primary rules to change from uh, direct narration to indirect narration or direct speech to indirect speech. Now we shall go forward. We shall actually learn it step by step, sentence by sentence. Then it will be very easy for you to understand. You can also note it down in your kata. Assertive sentence. And I think all of you have clear concept about assertive sentence that actually describes something. It gives a description of anything or any action like this. So, in assertive sentence, uh, we have to change some things. Say it will be changed to it told. If there is an object after the verb, say it. Just like he said to me. In that case, you need to write he told me like this. If there is no object after say, just like he said I was something like this, then you can also only write the word he said. You should not write told because tell, the verb tell. Uh, Tell always takes an object, but say does not take any object. So you have to change say it, and another change there is that is conjunction. After erasing comma and inverted comma, you have to put a that conjunction there. You have to add two clauses of the sentence with that. So we can go for practice. He said to me, I helped a helpless boy last night. The boy was helpless and I met him. He needed help and I just helped him. This thing happened actually. He said to me, I helped a helpless boy last night. 
So you can also change it with me, with the rule that I have already mentioned on the whiteboard. Uh, he said to me, first duty is to identify the reporting verb and reported speech. And this is reporting verb. We have already, ma we have already identified this. And uh, I, I helped a helpless boy last night. And this is reported speech. We have already identified this. So next task is to change from direct to indirect. He said to me, I helped a helpless boy last night. Which sentence is this? This is assertive sentence. We have already mentioned. If it is assertive sentence, here say it actually is changed with told. And if there is also an object. So here there is an object me. So it will be he told me. He told me. And here it is written that con uh, conjunction used. That conjunction is used. So he told me that we have to use that as a conjunction. Then person change. We have to change the person. I. This is first person. And I should uh, memorize this that if there is first person, it is changed with the subject of the reporting verb. And if, if there is second person, like you, if there is you, and this you will be changed according to the object of the reporting verb. And if, if, if there is any third person, except first and second person, like he, she, they, whatever it is, the third person, if it is third person, it has no change, it is unchangeable. So he told me that I, this is first person, and it, it will go with this one, he. So the subject will be he, pronoun will be he. And helped, tense. Which tense is it? Can you identify it? I helped a helpless boy. Help is the base form, so helped it is the past form. And if the verb if the verb is past form, then it becomes generally uh, past indefinite tense. So if the tense is past indefinite, what does it become? It becomes past perfect. So we have to know the structure of past perfect. If you actually do not have any clear concept about tense or sentences, the preliminary uh, grammatical things, you actually cannot change uh, narration. So before going to start narration, before going to learn narration, my dear learners, I request you to understand thoroughly uh, sentence and tenses. Because if you do not know the structures of tense and sentence, you actually cannot make any sentence. So it will be impossible for you to learn. So he, <coughs> I helped a helpless boy last night. He, what will be later? Helped. He had. The marker is actually a problematic thing. <laughs> he had. Then, past participle. The past participle of this, past form and past participle, same. Of the verb, base form, verb help. So, he had helped. He had helped a helpless boy. This will not be changed. A helpless boy. Helpless boy. So there is a word last. It will be changed. And last will be changed with previous. So what will be? My dear learners. The previous. The previous night. And you have to uh, always remember one thing. Whatever the sentence in the indirect speech, all the sentences will turn into assertive sentence in indirect, from direct to indirect. In direct 
speech whatever the sentence is here here it, it, the sentence might be assertive sentence the sentence might be imperative sentence the sentence might be objective the sentence whatever the sentence is exclamatory also might be there so all the sentences must be turned into assertive sentence have you understood my dear learners keep it always mind the, all the sentences of direct speech will become indirect sorry will become assertive sentence in indirect speech So I am erasing this thing. I am giving you another example and before my change, I think all of you will change it from direct to indirect. My friend said to me, what did my friend say to you? My friend said to me, uh, I met one of my friends last month. in the book fair. I met one of my friends last month in the book fair. So this is a assertive sentence. I think all of you are concerned about it. My friend said to me. So in reporting verb, the subject is my friend. It's not me. The subject is my friend. The subject is not me. Said to me, me here is object and come inverted comma stirred. I met one of my friends last month in the book fair. So change it before my change. Then it will match it with my one. And it will actually put a mark if it is, put a tick mark if it is correct. And put a cross mark if it is not correct. So my friend said to me. My friend. I met one of my friends last month in the book fair. This, this is assertive sentence. So if it is assertive sentence, the, the verb said of the reporting verb will be changed with told. Because there is an object me. So my friend told me. My friend told me. In assertive sentence, the conjunction becomes what? That. So we have to write that. My friend told me that. Then again, person change. I, this is first person, and it will go with my friend. Okay, my dear learners, uh, will you change the pronoun I with my or friend? With which one? Of course, it is my friend. You will change it with my friend. So my friend is the subject here. So my friend is a third person. So what is the pronoun of my friend? It is he. So you just guess here. He is there. Just think it. He is there. So my friend, it might be changed. Uh, it, it might be changed with the pronoun he. So I will go with he. So what will be the pronoun here? He. He will be there. He. Met again the past indefinite tense. I met one of my friends. Then what will be there? I had. I had. Uh, this is past form and past participle same. I had met one of my one of. Here yeah, another pronoun has come. My. My. This is uh, another pronoun. It also will be changed. 
and it is first person and you know first person goes with the subject he but one thing you should notice is that my is the possessive form of the pronoun so when you will change with he the possessive of this subject also will be there not the subject or the object will be there if here it is possessive then it will uh, be changed and the the changed also one be with uh, the changed one also will be possessive if it is objective then after changing it also will be objective if it is subjective after changing it also will be subjective so subject always becomes sub subject after, after changing and if it is object after changing it also will be object and if it is possessive case or possessive then it also will be possessive after changing so my this is possessive and it will go with he so what is the possessive case of he his so what will be there he had met one of his friends so my is changing with his his friends his friends last month so what will be last is changed with the previous the previous month then in the book fair there is no change in the book fair have you understood my dear learners so it's your duty to practice at home um, today this is the first time i have uh, discussed narration only a little part of this part so it's your duty to study at home to practice the things at home and if you find any confusion just pass your comments uh, through this page and we shall try our best to solve all the problems uh, that you actually will come with us. So thank you everybody, stay at home and remain safe, save your life and save the lives of others. Thank you everybody.